Alright guys, so it's been a little bit since I made a video, and it's because I was putting this together. Um, so this video is going to be primarily on the bed rack. Um, I will just say, this is the Overland Pros Anza 1400 Extreme tent up top. Um, and the bed rack is the Billy Bars, I think I have their logo on back. Yep, Billy Bars bed rack. And obviously this is my diamond back. As you can see, the brackets just kind of mount underneath it and the seals just kind of squish around it. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is the bed rack and it does not come with the Molly panels on side. If you do not order these, you're basically just getting crossbars. And uh, yeah, so the Molly panels are pretty pretty pricey at I think $100, $180 per panel. So you're looking at almost $400 added if you do one on each side. But uh, this was a very well thought out uh, design. And this is kind of the direct competitor with like KB or KB Voodoo, KB Voodoo, whatever one it is. Um, now there's a lot of rust issues that happen with the other brand. And this is a newer company that's come coming out i think in 2019 uh 2020 something like that so pretty new company they have amazing customer service though and as you can see i'll try and show you here these bars aren't just held up by a bolt like the other brand these are actually welded tabs that go all the way around it creating like a u-shape that just cup the bar in here right and, and then these two security bolts just screw into it into the bar itself there we go and what that does is just keep the tent in place these are not holding weight the welded steel and you can see this is pretty thick gauge steel the bars themselves are aluminum uh the brackets um are steel so anyways the bolts are just there to keep it from popping out they're not holding the weight now what you can do with this is unscrew these two bolts on each corner right and then you can just lift the entire bed rack off meaning the crossbars you can keep them attached to the tent and just lift it up put it away whatever if you want to and um unlike other racks uh you can actually keep your molly panels because this will just lift out and then all of this will stay in place so if you don't want to run the tent uh you can still keep your axe and shovel or whatever else in place the uh, molly panel is aluminum by the way um show you a shot of my fiskers axe and shovel come over here you can see kind of a height reference you really can't put anything under it they do make spacers that lift the tent up but I mean, you know, it just sits on the bars, so you still can't do anything with that. Uh, here, I have my Max Racks mounted. Now, uh, I do want to show something that I wasn't really planning on running into. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll get into it. So, I have my Max Racks mount here, and I had to mount it low, so nothing's down here, but it's still plenty secure. This gives me just enough room to basically keep it level with the molly panel right so on this side so my tent opens up toward the driver's side which means since this is so low these need to be very close to level with this like my uh sheath here might even need to come off um so as you can see here bottom of the tent like you need to have clearance for it to fold out um, so keep that in mind you're gonna have to mount things low unless you buy those spacers to raise the tent high um, that's another option as well so at first I did have the match tracks mounted over here and ran into an issue immediately um, with the rooftop tent is in order for me to mount the max tracks low enough for me to make clearance for the tent to be able to open it blocked my my gas port here um 
you know, the Mack tracks were coming straight across. Therefore, um, I would have to remove the Mack tracks. Actually, that still wouldn't even work because the mount would still hold it in place. So um, keep that in mind, kind of plan accordingly, you know. So if I put the shovel head on this side, it would be overlapping that. So you're going to have to kind of work around that. I've not seen anyone comment on that, but I did want to bring it to your attention. Obviously, you can work around it. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, show you. This is my Canine Rex Easy On uh, Action Shovel Mount. Uh, I got it installed yesterday, drilled a couple holes, and it is nice and secure. I like this one because it locks. Um, yeah, so there is that. Keeps your axe and shovel secure. I'm having a hard time remembering. Oh, it's uh, Equip, I believe, is the brand that makes these Max Trax mounts. But essentially, you know, just kind of grab what you want. You're going to have to customize it a little bit as far as height or positioning or whatever on the rack. Uh, there's just so much modularity as far as, like, how far forward you want it or backwards or up or down. All that's going to be kind of an individualized thing depending on your needs your tents if you have uh, spacers for the bars uh, there's a million other factors but this is what i'm running um i think it looks really good still allows for the tent to open that way i mean obviously there's no clearance issue here um, but as long as you mount stuff low pretty flush with the top of the bars then you'll be able to open up your tent no problem uh, as you can see here, the, uh, I'm shaking the whole truck here, moving these so they're mounted nice and secure. I think it looks really good, give you kind of a back view of it. Um, been super happy with it. Um, great customer service. They, uh, the uh, Billy Bars company, um, we're having a hard time getting the mounts for the Molly panels. And so what I would have them do is go ahead and send me the billy bars and then the uh, bracket to mount to the truck. And they went ahead and sent me the molly panels, but I was missing the bracket to attach the molly panels um, to the rack. So <clears throat> a week or so later, they went ahead and sent me new brackets, but they accidentally sent me new um, molly panels. Um, I communicated with them to tell them, hey, I don't know if you meant to do that or not, but either way, long story short, they said, basically, you know, if it's not inconvenient, we'd like to get the molly panels back, but, um, you know, I mean, if it's inconvenient or whatever for you, just go ahead and keep them free of charge. So I went ahead and had them send me a shipping label, so I returned the extra set of molly panels that they sent me. Uh, they were super chill. Great customer service. Always got back with me within a day or so um, of emailing. So uh, I highly, highly recommend this product. Super well thought through. The uh, powder coating looks amazing. And uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, pretty much it on this. Thanks for watching, guys.